Welcome to Mr. R's Number Thief Math Stories. Stories about a little dude who used to come to my home and steal my numbers. And they're chewed, too. This one tells of the time the number thief visited my home over Christmas while my parents were shopping at the mall. Get ready to put your best effort into the three math problems at the end of each short chapter. They focus on the six multiplication facts and much more. Remember to give your best effort, and here we go. Chapter 1 It was the night before Christmas. I was holding a broom. My parents had forced me to clean my whole room, to clean up the mess Number Thief had made there. A mess made of numbers and Thief's greasy green hair. Number Thief was a dude who was really uncool, who tried to steal numbers from my home and my school. My homework and classwork always looked bad every time he showed up. It made me feel sad. My parents, they'd gone to the mall with Grandpa. While alone, I was cleaning with Dad's broom and Mom's mop. I wished for a present for something real sweet, like one night without thief or some drum kit to beat. I wished for five boxes filled with toy trains, or better yet, they'd be filled up with video games. And now time for some math problems. Each one is a little more challenging than the one before it, at least I think so. So put in your best effort and remember we learn best from our mistakes. For answers, follow the link on the screen or in the video description. Or you can check the end of the video for a complete list of answers. Question 1. If there were five gift boxes under the tree, and each had six video games in it, how many video games were there in total? Hit the pause button on your player if you need some time to think. Question 2. If there were 16 gift boxes under the tree, and each had six video games in it, how many video games were there in total? Hit the pause button if you need some time to think. Question 3. If my mom, dad, and grandpa each had $63 in their wallets and they bought a gift that cost $157.99, how much money would they have left? Hit the pause button if you need some time to work. Chapter 2. So out on the driveway I heard a loud boom. I ran to the window while holding the broom. I stared out the window and saw something flash and it wasn't gold nuggets or even cold cash. No, the light that I saw on the dirty old snow made my stomach hurt badly. It was him, I did know. The horrible sight, a sight I did fear, was a number thief's face. Could he really be here? I think it was anger that made me act weird, and I ran out the door and yanked on Thief's beard. Question 1. If I'd yanked Thief's beard six times with each of my hands, how many times had I yanked a Thief's beard in total? Question 2. If I'd yanked Thief's beard six times a day for 14 days, how many times had I yanked the Thief's beard in total? Question 3. If I'd yanked Thief's beard two times a minute for one hour, how many times had I yanked Thief's beard in total? Don't forget to pause the video if you need more time to work. Chapter 3. Well, Thief wasn't alone, I realized real quick. And the sight that I saw made me feel more and more sick. Faster than race cars, Thief's brothers they came. And Thief sounded real scary as he screamed out each name. Now horror, now terror, now silly, now spooky. On crazy, on dirty, on horrid and kooky. Eight tiny brothers in one tiny truck. And that's when I knew I was right out of luck. But things got much worse. More Thief trucks arrived. Soon there were six trucks or one more than five. Question 1. If each truck held eight of Thief's brothers, how many brothers would be on six trucks? Question 2. If each truck had 18 wheels, how many wheels would be on six trucks? Question 3. If six trucks held 36 Thief brothers, how many brothers would be on 36 trucks? You might want to pause the video if you need some time to work. Chapter 4 To the top of the house, Thief said with a smirk. Hurry up, my bad brothers, let's steal his math work. They may have been tiny like the size of my toe, but they love to eat numbers with numbers they'd grow. The Thief gave his brothers some real hard high fives. They jumped into the air and flew through the skies. Up to my roof, the brothers all flew. With thoughts that were mean, my horror just grew. Question 1. If Thief gave nine of his brothers six high fives each, 
How many high fives had he given in total? Question two. If Thief gave 26 of his brothers six high fives each, how many high fives did he give in total? Question three. If our roof was 66 feet high and the thief could only jump three feet at a time, how many jumps would it take him to get to the roof? Now might be a good time to pause the video if you need some time to think. Chapter five. I heard quick crook footsteps real loud on my roof. I thought and I hoped I could make them go poof. I spun really fast. Was I facing my doom? When I saw a thief and his brothers rush straight towards my room. They were dressed up like Santa in red, white, and black. They'd hauled up a really large, ugly black sack. Yes, they were dressed up like Santa, white beards they had glued. They thought my math homework made really good food. But unlike real Santa, they'd come here to take. Santa's a giver, these thieves were a fake. Math question one. If the thieves used six tubes of glue to glue on their fake Santa beards, and each tube had three ounces of glue, how many ounces of glue had they used all together? Math question two. If the thieves used 96 tubes of glue to glue on their fake Santa beards, and each tube held six ounces of glue, how many ounces had they used all together? Math question three. If tubes of glue cost $1.79, and the thieves used 26 tubes, how much had they spent in total? Now might be a good time to pause the video if you need some time to think. Chapter six. They opened the sack and pulled something out, a real large machine to steal numbers, no doubt. A homework machine with hose in the back. They aimed for my math book, I heard a loud crack. Let's take all his sixes and the six multiples. Thief screamed, we'll eat six facts and two are all full. Their eyes were now glowing, their faces so scary, their cheeks were like toadstools all bluish and hairy. They aimed the big hose and set it on low, but number thief frowned, we're moving too slow. They turned it to high to give me more grief. It sucked up our gumdrops and our evergreen wreath. Math question number one. If there are 11 gumdrops in a full bag, and I used six full bags to decorate our tree. How many gumdrops had the thief's machine sucked up in total? Question two. If there are 22 gumdrops in a full bag, and I used six full bags to decorate our tree, how many gumdrops had the thief's machine sucked up in total? You might be able to use the answer from number one to help you figure out the answer to that one. Math question three. If Thief's machine sucked up 22 gumdrops a minute for 12 minutes, and then Thief ate half of the gumdrops the machine had sucked up, how many gumdrops were left? Now might be a good time to pause the video if you need some time to think. Chapter 7 They re-aimed at my math book. Their plans were real smelly, like a rotten salami hanging up at a deli. They sucked up my math book right off my bookshelf, and I promised to catch that number thief elf. I jumped really high right up on my bed and told those mean guys they had something to dread. I tested thief cages that held six thieves each. I told them I'd catch them, a lesson I'd teach. Now it's time for some math questions. Question number one. If there were now 72 number thieves in my house and six fit in each cage, how many cages would I need for all the number thieves? Question number two. If there were now 510 number thieves in my house and each had six fingers on their right hand, how many right hand fingers would there be in total? Question number three. If there were 52 thieves in my house and six more came every 30 minutes, how many thieves would be in my house 24 hours later? Now might be a good time to pause the video to give you some time to think. Chapter 8 I yelled, no you don't, as I ran towards my work. I rescued my numbers, those thieves I would irk. I pulled my poor math book out of their hose and dropped it right down on number thief's toes. Ow! He jumped up so high like some sort of missile and turned to his brothers and let out a low whistle. And then he yelled loudly, yelled out commands to all of his brothers, they were ugly demands. Grab back his math book and take all his toys from under the tree and hurry up boys. And while we're at it with number thief games, take all his tinsel and sweet candy canes. Math question number one. 
If our tree had 10 branches, and each branch had six candy canes hanging on it, how many candy canes were hanging? Question two. If our tree had 29 branches, and each branch had six candy canes hanging on it, how many candy canes were hanging? Question three. If our tree was six feet tall, and there were four candy canes hanging on every inch of our tree, how many candy canes were hanging? Now might be a good time to pause the video if you need some time to think. Chapter 9 They ran towards my tree, but I stopped them so cold I turned on their machine. I felt pretty bold. I sucked up the thief and his tiny twins too. Right into the hose, what else could I do? Inside the machine, the thieves were then trapped. If my parents had been there, they both would have clapped. I looked through a window on machine's right hand side. Number Thief and his brothers were trapped there inside. I yelled at the thief, now leave me alone. Stay away from my numbers, stay away from my home, or I'll send you to Mars, straight off Santa's list. And on Mars, you should know, numbers won't even exist. Question one, if it takes seven days for a fast reindeer to fly to Mars once, how many days will it take the reindeer to fly to Mars six times? Question two, if it takes 67 days for a fast reindeer to fly to Mars once, how many days will it take the reindeer to fly there six times? Question three, if Mars is 33,004,800 miles away from Earth, and the thief travels 191 miles per second, how many days will it take him to get there? You might want to consult a calculator to solve that one. And don't forget to hit the pause button to give yourself time to put in your best effort. Chapter 10 I reversed the machine and it shot the thieves out like water that's running from a cold water spout. They flew through the air that cool Christmas Eve and the next thing I saw I could hardly believe. Thief and his brothers fell into their sled that was pulled by their reindeer. His name was Big Ed. He was sadly so large he couldn't quite fly, so we called them a cab. He was a nice guy. The cab flew in the air, sleigh bells are ring ringing, and I heard Thief and his brothers in the song they were singing. Yes, they were singing a song as they flew out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Math question one. If 24 bells were ringing during the song, and six thieves were each ringing the same number of bells, how many bells was each thief ringing? Question two. If 24 bells were ringing during the song, and each bell rang 66 times, how many times had the bells rung in total? Question three. If 36 thieves fill nine sleighs, how many thieves would it take to fill 27 sleighs? Chapter 11 My parents returned from their trip to the mall. Would they even believe my story at all? Number Thief came. He was dressed up as Santa with his tiny thief brothers. They came from Atlanta. And that is the truth everyone knows. I sucked up the thief with a machine and a hose. My parents both told me I shouldn't have lied on this Christmas Eve, and they then showed me why. They pulled out a present that was really so cool, a video game that would replace my whole school. They said I'd been naughty, and now I would miss this. They were returning my present for lying on Christmas. Then they put me to bed with a hug and a wave, said I'd get my gifts next year if I decide to behave. They turned off my lights and pulled shut my door. One day they'd see Thief, about that I was sure. But for now at least they thought I was lying. I lay there in bed, I felt just like crying. And I was really quite tired from doing Thief battle. I checked out the time and I felt my brain rattle. When I looked at the clock, it's talking in ticks. Two numbers were missing, the 12 and the six. The end.